Welcome back to 4 Mods, and today we're working on Project S13. Um, Today what we're going to do is some more um, maintenance and getting caught up, um, less modification. We're going to be doing our rear diff fluid in the, in the HICUS system, which I don't think really matters, but um, the rear diff in a HICUS, HICUS, I don't know the right pronunciation for that, 240, it does have a limited slip out of the box. Um, you can go with a hand pump, which works fine, it's the uh, way most people do it. I've opted for a... $5 set of fittings and some clear tube and a drill pump I picked up off of Amazon. Overall, this tool right here costs you nine bucks, and if it works, it'll save you a lot of work. It powers off the uh, off of a drill. Literally, a drill hooks up to it and pumps your fluid through. It should make this process a lot simpler. You're gonna need 1.55 quarts of your preferred gear fluid. I went with Modal Gear 300, 75W90. Had pretty good experience with it before. You're gonna need a half inch ratchet, and I'd recommend a one inch or is this a one inch? This is a one inch extension roughly mm -hmm. for half inch and that just lets you get to the fill plug a little bit easier. So That's on the Hickus model. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Know, I don't know if they're different between 240s. I really I'm don't. Pretty sure on this one, the fill and drain are just on like the diff cover. Yeah. So why don't you join us around the back of the car here in a minute and we'll show you what you need to do. All right, so here we are at the back of our, our 91 240. Um, on the Hikus, I'm going to go with Hikus. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, model. The drain plug is very simply at the bottom. The fill plug is up here on the right hand or left hand side, driver's side of the differential. Um, kind of a pain to get to. You'll see how we're going to get around that. And then, uh, always important, pop your fill plug first. That way, if your fill plug is fro fro frozen, um, you don't drain your fluid and then figure out you can't get the fill plug out. Got it. What, on tape? Well, I mean, you got the fill plug out. Yeah. This does not feel like it's been done in a long time. It's probably got the original fluid. No, I hope not. That's not funny. Maybe there's no fluid. That would be even worse. Some things are... Can't believe you're doing this without gloves. Yeah, whatever. Smell it already. Ooh. That looks nasty. Always does. That's pretty black. That's the sexiest thing I've seen in a long time. And you just wait for it to stop dribbling after it's jacked up in the front. Actually, little shavings aren't bad, it's just nasty. So uh, while Freddy records this, realize that if you don't know, you probably do, if you're doing your diff fluid, that um, most of the time, every time I've ever worked on a car, the rear diff plug is magnetic. It picks up metal filings. Um, it's a pretty good gauge of how worn your rear diff is. If it's got tons of metal filings on it, then there's probably a problem. Um, so you want to give this a good cleaning while you let your fluid drain. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes, and uh, it's sufficiently drained. We jacked the front up and switched it around and got it to a pretty good point. So we're just going to put this guy back in. I cleaned the threads up, put some anti-seize on it. Not a lot, just a little bit. And now we're just going to make sure it sits back in there nice and uh, start working on filling it up. This should be uh, pretty much hand tight. You don't need to worry about too much with it being too or too loose. Just put it to its snug. You don't want it to be super tight, but you don't want it to be uh, anything bad. So right, right there feels good. So we're ready to fill. Good 
Here we go. That sounds like an electronic song. Ooh. That does look like it's easier than a hand pump. Someone needs to take the sound of this drill and remix it. Stop. Why? That's a terrible plan. It seriously sounds like it could be in a song. Alright. You get it all, buddy? Not yet. Ooh, you, you froth the froth the fluid a bit. Froth the fluid. Got oil everywhere? Pretty much. It's good for it. It's a lubricant. So this is one and a half quarts? Yeah, pretty much. Well, roughly there. You might have to add more to compensate for the fluid that's in the hose. Yeah, I'm thinking that right now. So you fill it, all right, stop. And then it's gonna drain back in. It's not. See, it's just, it's full, it's full. So uh, we're there. This is done. A lot easier than a hand pump, I must say. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is pull this hose out. And lose a ton of gear. No, it's still not draining out the fill hole, buddy. Oh yeah, it's very yeah, little. It's full. You know, I have to say, I was kind of skeptical of this at first, but I, I think I like it. I'm telling you. I like it. It's a great way to do it. So to put the fluid in uh, into your car, you only need like a two hundred dollar Dewalt drill, and then the the pump. And if you don't have a drill. You should not be working with cars. <laughs> if you have a drill, then uh, you're covered. You don't need a two hundred dollar Dewalt drill. Could use light. Thank you. Doesn't matter if it's cross threaded or torqued to spec. Tight See, is. Things where this is, I can't really get the tool all the fuck in there. So you can't cross thread it, or you are cross threading? No, I just can't get it 100% in there. That's what he said. Ta-da! And you're done. So we have all of Tony's cars here today. And people keep asking where this car is. Is it here? It's still sitting here. Not here. What's that? I want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, an SR20 block. Well, that's that for the S13 today. Nothing big, but I, I am working on some other stuff for you guys to see. But. Um, you saw a drill pump in use, maybe that'll make your next differential or transmission fluid exchange a little bit easier. It uh, is definitely not easier than hand pumping or trying to get a line rigged up that runs to the outside of the car so you can gravity feed it. That took like, what Mike, I'd say the longest part was getting the bolts in it now. Yep. So it took maybe a minute to get the fluid in the, in the diff and it's good. I did make a bit of a mess with uh, the differential fluid, but nothing to shop town, a little elbow grease won't clean up. So, um, me and Mike are going to go get busy on the 8.6, which hopefully, if it goes smooth, you guys will see videos soon on, because I know we have a lot of parts that you guys saw us get that we haven't done much with, um, except get caught on thing after thing and problem after problem. But I think we have everything we need to move forward, so you'll see 8.6 videos soon. Until next time, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and anything else that everyone else in the world asks you to do on YouTube. So.